Do I have enough to actually make the blade? I'll talk with you in a minute, Uncle. I gotta go. I gotta go check some stuff. All right. I think for tonight's stream, I think I might run over, but I'm going to plan on finishing all the side stuff before finally getting to the final part of the game. Crack the crystal. Kill the god. Save the world. Am I missing anything? No. That's pretty much the plan. Not a very good one. If you ask me. But then. I can't say I have much practice killing gods. Now forging a kit to kill a god. That. I might be to help you with. Record that it's the last I can do for all you've given us. It's more than enough. <laughs> you can thank me when you get back. I like his attitude. He's like, I'm not good at. I got no experience killing a god. Now, I'll give you the stuff to do it. I might be to help so you there. Would it be? Gutenberg. Oh, I need one more dark steel. Oh, it's so close. That it. Oh, another quest popped up. God, what? Fine, I'll take this one up here. Just quests after quests are just popping up, man. The concern for two. All right. My lord, my quest, mark quest. I write to thank you for the kind consideration you have shown those whose names are written within the page of the Book of Martyrs. I know they would move them deeply to know that the first shield of the Phoenix lament surpassing. Though each and every member of our order stands ready to sacrifice their lives in the service of the Phoenix, do not doubt that those who are taken before their time go with regret for the long years duty uh, left undone. That they should live on in the memory of a proud son of House Rockfield such as yourself shall surely go uh, some way to soothing their sorrows. May the Phoenix flame burn ever in your heart, Cyril, bearer of the burning quill. <clears throat> the wages of pain. Do you remember what you told me that night of the Phoenix Day? That while the fate of Ros Rosaria sits on my shoulders, the fate of, of, uh, of Solomon sits upon yours. But are we not both dominant of fire? Does not the flame of our forebears burn in our, of our hearts? Should I not protect you as you have protected me? You have chosen to be my shield. Now let me choose to be yours. Is not uh, is uh, is this not what the father wanted? What Sid wanted to cast aside fate and for grow on path grant me this Clive let me be your strength Joshua the two of you have been together for what probably feels like a lifetime now but there's still lots of you to learn about that hunt of yours I hope he'd step in front of a uh, bloody raging behemoth if it meant protect you but that doesn't mean you should take it for granted at the end of the day he's a hound and something he's just wants someone to be part pat, uh, uh, pat his head and rub his belly Give him the handful of uh, Koopa Nuts. He'd be a good member of that. Charon. Oh, you he's the best boy. He gets all the belly rubs in the head pads. Don't you worry, Charon. That which conquers all. Cure not long removed from what was the last place you... Uh, last you placed yourself between us and peril. I sit and pen yet another letter in which I try to find the words to show to express the gratitude of an entire town. Still, something feels different about our latest strength. Where in the past we learned ever so heavily upon your good grace. This time we found strength elsewhere in ourselves. A Our hardship has shown us that which should be, uh, which should have been ap uh, apparent all along. We're not as different as what we want to believe. Does a peasant not, does a parent love his homeland any less than a noble? Does a bearer love his family any less than any other man does his own? It is in this love that has united us and given us true strength. Should every thrall, Akashic, bandit, and uh, brigand in the realm come charging on the gates, we will not fret. We will not falter. We will fight. And we will win. Isabel. Though her icon brought uh, her much suffering, the loss of Shiva weighs heavy on her heart. And we should be poor friends indeed if not seek to lighten the burden. Even but only a fraction before we depart the skies. I speak in private. If Joshua was worried about Jill, I should go and speak with him. Priceless. I will do that, but I will be saving that when I came back here. There's still a, some quests I gotta do outside. <laughs> Wait, I can finally get the Genji uh, glove I've been waiting to get.
Ah, oh, there's just so much stuff to do. You should have seen him. The thing didn't stand a chance. Hey, look, we finally got some more monsters to hunt. Hoping one of these guys gives me dark steel. The Grim Reaper and Knight of the Splendid Heart. Ooh. He might give me the Dark Seal. Uh, Knight in Shining Armor has uh, elected to station himself aside this entrance, uh, causing any and all passerby to search out lost. Okay. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. True, I've been busy. Yes, Genji Gloves. If the drunken gallery captain and I shared the table of last night, it is to be believed. Word of your exploits have made its way across the seas of the great continent. What is more, what is more, she claims that there are those who would see you flourish, herself being one of them. Gareth. You earned this. Finally, the, the Genji there, gloves. Sid. So the Genji gloves. Uh, let's see what I have here. Increase combo damage. Increases. It's the one item that increases da, 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 all uh, damage dealt to all enemies by 5%. Okay. Let's see. So it's a really nice power boost. Alright, let's see. Let's head. I have some things to do here as well. What is it? I got one, which is make for granite, and then three, which is nobody's tool. I forgot what that one was about. Let's finish this one here on this mainland. Okay, so this might be the next, the the other part of Lubor's story. Oh, Lubor, you're still here. I thought you left. I thought you, got chased... I thought you got chased out of town. What happened? Thanks, but I'll be traveling light. I'm almost finished already, in fact. You're really going to go through with this, then? I am. But before I go, there is one small issue I'd like your assistance with. Well, two, in fact. Oh, what's that? If it's within my power to help you, I will. Ah, the kids. The children. I refuse to let them Lexi. share in my disgrace. And if I leave them here, they surely more will. More like a cool guy. Ah, uh, what are you trying to butter me up? How are you doing, it? Lexi? You have a good I week? I take them with me either. I can think of only one place where they are certain to be safe and provided for and loved. The hideaway. Of course. The children would be more than welcome. Thank All you. All right, I'll take your rug right out for you. forget this. Lubor, are you still here? What is it, Ferda? You look pale. There's been a flood in the Velcroy, a damn big one. The League of Outlaws encampment was completely submerged uh -oh. in Ether. That's not good. What? Yeah, but I had a good week. Glad to hear it. Returned. Oh, but the, this way. but the week, the and weekend's so coming up. I hope you got some plan, something cool planned up. Quite another. The town guard won't stand a chance against them. We need to evacuate. There's no time to lose. Ferda, gather the men. The Akashic may strike at any moment. We must make ready to cover the townspeople's escape. Well, what are you waiting for? Yes, my lord. Clive, change of plan. The children stay with me for now. I need you to find Conrad and Natalie. Tell them to prepare for a full and immediate evacuation. Understood. God damn, this I town doesn't deserve to me more. Wish me luck. They literally wanted to kick you out, and you're like over here helping game, uh, saving their asses. What's you have to listen to me. They're coming. Why do they always have to make such a? Huh. All right, you two assholes, you need to listen up. Uh, I ain't got. I ain't got time for your bullshit. What do you want? Lord Underhill? To pass on an important message. There's been an ether flood out in the Velcroy. The camp where the so called League of Outlaws were gathering has been swallowed. They're no longer just bandits. They're Akashic now. And they could be here at any moment. 
You need to begin preparing for a full-scale evacuation right away. Oh, do we? And who was it who gave oh, you, you this Oh, you goddamn bitch. Need, might I ask? Have you played, uh, Katano Zero? I have not, but that sounds familiar. Speak. You may believe his lies, my lord. Oh my fucking that. god, do you understand he Wouldn't likes he you like people? Something like this. Some twisted attempt at revenge, oh, perhaps. You fucking petty if man. Been unmasked, he may well have been elected our leader. A great honor for one of his kind. One he might well feel aggrieved at having been denied. Lord Underhill, forgive me, but it has become all too evident where your sympathies lie. God, you people you are fucking idiots. Trusted, Why not? Leader. Therefore, can you? You may not trust me, but for the sake of your people, ask yourselves if there is any chance that this is true. There isn't. You can be certain of that. Oh, now be can okay. I? Can you? God, I, I hate You're this making sound. A mistake. Come, Clive. If our words will not move them, then we must find another way to help save the town. You're right. Speak to Lord Ferdinand. God damn, like, Lubor has, like, helped us sound for, like, years on one it, on whatnot. And then they find out he's a bearer, and they're like, oh, no, he's... How dare he be a bearer and not tell us? Well, I guess we're gonna have to kick him out of this goddamn village when you fucker so deserve to be saved. Are you looking for something in particular? Yeah, it's for you to shut your dirty whore mouth. Go with Gilbert. Lord Ferda. Sid, what's wrong? I went to warn Conrad and Natalie about the Akashic, but they wouldn't listen. They've convinced themselves that nothing Lubor says can be trusted. The bloody fools. Which means the town guard can't be counted on for support. But I can. If there's anything I can do to help you defend Dalamil, you only have to ask. I appreciate it. Sid, Ferda, I've been looking for you everywhere. Victor, I thought you'd left. I couldn't abandon a friend in need. And Blue Boy is in need at this very moment. Come quickly. Oh, what now? Oh, I better not be the townspeople. Oh, you fucking idiot. You have to believe me. The Akashic are coming. They don't eat. They don't sleep. They don't tire. And they don't care who they kill. They're unlike anything that's come before. There will be no parley. No mercy granted. We may have saved the town once, but this is different. Ask that you forgive me, but please believe me. If you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die. Huh? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Why yeah. would he like that? He likes you people. Why can't you understand yeah, that? Out of the way, your kind will be free to claim Dalamil for yourselves. Gah. You who should run! I'm finally playing this uh, game. It's my fantasy. I'm not actually. I always forget the game wasn't ready for everyone. I forget this game wasn't ready for everyone. Yes, it is a, it is a mature game. God damn it, stop throwing rocks at him! Wait, someone's coming. Huh? The children! Are they finally going to be useful? Stop. You're hurting him. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, now you feel bad that you hurt some kids, huh? I know someone's there is like, hey, hey, I beamed that kid in the face. What did Lubo ever do to you? Hmm? He solves all your stupid problems, and he keeps all of you safe. You know there's nothing he wouldn't do for this town. Who was it who made that cleaver you used 
every day, Conrad. Yeah, Conrad. And what about your counting table, Natalie? Who fixed that? Yeah, huh? Who has stuff that was made Please by Lure because you asked him to? The streets are clean so all your boots don't get dirty. Who spends all day every day making sure things run smoothly around here? And none of you ever say thank you. Ever. But did Lubor ever complain? Well, does he ever stop smiling? He keeps this whole place going. And you act like it doesn't even exist. Yeah, you fucking stupid shitty people. Sit beside, kids. I must speak with Lubor. Lubor. We have heard enough. Wait! We will not run. The town guard will not abandon the very place it is sworn to protect. And I will not give up for lost the stores that we labored so hard to fill. <sighs> so tell us. How do you propose we deal with these What? No, I'm not killing the, the kids. They're actually being useful for once. We won't run, but we will fight. All right, then. Fine. Gather round if you don't want to die. But the fight is coming. And it won't stop coming. And it won't stop coming. Allow me to explain the situation. The ether flood occurred near the village of Cheratina, deep in the Velcroy. The place had been abandoned for years, until the League of Outlaws decided to make it their base of operations. Now they are all turned, and if the scouts' reports are correct, heading in this direction. They are mindless monsters, driven only by hate and rage. And they are utterly unpredictable. With the bandits, we at least knew how and where they were likely to attack. When these creatures come, Delamil will have the bitterest fight it has ever faced on its hands. The town guard will muster at the north gate. The rest of us will take the south. Both forces will provide men to serve as scouts and messengers, ready to spread word of the size and nature of the Akashic force as soon as it is spotted. And as soon as it has been, we will converge on its position and see that it is driven back from Delamil at all costs. Conrad. Can I count on the support of the town guard? Always. I leave the selection and coordination of the messengers in your hands, Victor. And the command of our men in yours, Ferda. If you would both be so kind, consider it done. As you wish. All right, but well, what do I get to do? Because I'm going to be doing all the heavy I would lifting. ask that you and your people have <clears throat> the townsfolk barricade themselves inside the bathhouse. And tell the merchant not to waste time securing anything beside the essentials. Preserving life is our one and only concern. As long as we survive, it doesn't matter what trinkets we might lose. Our riches can be regained. What's up with that face? If anyone doubts that, you're like resting bitch face. What's going on here? Stands ready so she doesn't like being told, what she, uh, being told what to do. Very well. I shall tell them. Where do I fit into this plan? Uh, I need to kill everything. Where else but the most perilous place of all? I would like you to travel to the home of our erstwhile League of Outlaws, Cheratina itself. The main host is most likely still there, and Dalamil will not be safe until it is eradicated root and branch. A little gardening. How pleasant. <sighs> I doubt it. I have a feeling these weeds will be particularly stubborn. Luckily, so am I. So you are. All right, then. We all know what we have to do. Now it's simply a matter of doing it. For Dalamil. For Dalamil.
God. Finally, these stupid pests, uh, these stupid dumb villagers like everyone's ready. are actually thinking smart. Oh, I can just teleport right there. Oh, yeah. This is pretty bad. What, uh, what abilities do I have on me? Silver Rama. Wait, why is that? Uh, I'll try it. There it is. The flood. But what's waiting for us inside? It's a good question. He already says some Akashic dudes over there. That's not the one I wanted, but I'll take it. Y'all just hiding back here. There he goes. I guess he's the last one. Slice. No one can defeat the anime sword. But I get nah, that's all right. The league is disbanded. I should get back to Dalamil and see how the others fared. Hopefully, they're all right. God, I love, I, I just love Odin. Yeah, he's, he's got this cool combo potential. He even has a, a way to like reset yourself. But the problem is like a lot of combos don't really work a lot for bosses and stuff. Can't do cool shit like a nobleman cry. All the Akashic we were able to find have been dealt with. 
Seems that might be the last of them. The last of them here, perhaps. Lubo, Sid, Clive has returned. Clive! What news from Charitina? They're dead. It's done. All super dead. Root and branch. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Thank you, my lord. Friends, the Horde has been driven back. The Akashic have been defeated. And we need not fear the arrival of any more, thanks to Clive. Victory is ours. We bloody did it. We saved Dalamil. God, this, this woman does just have resting bitch face. Lubor, allow me to apologize. After all you have done for this town, we should never have doubted you. Yeah, you really shouldn't have. We did. And for that, we are truly sorry. We only hope that you can forgive us. We need you, Lubor. Dalimil needs you. So, if you would still like to be considered for the position of mayor, you have our backing. You do remember that I'm a bearer, don't you? We do. But that is not a stain on your character. It is a stain on ours. We thought only of what we perceived bearers to be, not what you truly are. The man who saved Dalimil twice over. Hell, I said finally learned their lesson. See. But... I will only accept your proposal on two conditions. Name them. Hmm. Firstly, that you will both do everything in your power to rally your people to my cause. If the Town Guard and the Merchants League do not accept my leadership, it will be doomed from the start. Unity is the key to defending Dalamil. And I do not doubt that we shall need to call on our combined strength again. When that time comes, I will expect us all to pull together. Just as we did today. Of course. You have our word. And secondly... You will accept that if I am to lead you, the mistreatment of bearers must end here in Dalamil. Any bearer within our walls shall be afforded the same rights as any other citizen. They will not be judged by what they are, but who they are. As we failed to do, and came so close to losing everything. We agree to your conditions. And we have only one in return. That you continue to work for the good of Dalimil. As you always have. Condition accepted. Well then, it seems my mayorship is all but confirmed. Do I get some sort of special hat? Fickle fate can be. And how people not and so how super can people I be? I resigned myself to leaving Dalamil in disgrace. And now I find myself her leader. Here. For everything. Ooh, what's this? Is it Dark Steel? I hope it's Dark Steel. Lubo. About the children. Fear not. You are, of course, relieved of your responsibility. I would sooner face another horde of Akashic than see them brought up as outlaws. <laughs> I'll make sure they're safe here. I don't doubt that you will. And not just the children, but everyone in Dalamil. I'll do my best. Can't have all your hard work going to waste. And so we've finally finished another place. It's ready to meet the new the new world. Kids, do not sit on that. If you fall and break your necks. Oh, I swear you always gotta keep a kid on these keep an eye on these kids. Who knows where they're gonna clamber up to next time?
uh, barriers can sign the breath of light impulse. 